Hey, it's Morgan Crane, exclusive black status leader, and I want to talk about your circle. What if you woke up tomorrow morning and there was a news bulletin that said, for this month, you will only be paid on your circle and your personal sales. How many of you would just be like, oh, if that's your response to the idea of only being paid on your circle, then please keep watching because we need to figure this out. We need to be loving our circles, nurturing our circles, growing our circles, and treating them like absolute solid gold. I challenge you to approach this next month as if your circle is your only business, as if someone who has broken off as elite on your team does not even exist. They're, they're gone. They're, they're doing their own circles. You focus on your business and your circle. Why is this so important? Because without the circle, you can't promote. You can't, you can never jump a color status without the circle to promote it. Um, elite and elite and exclusive levels. You have nowhere to grow your next elite leg. Where do you think elites come from? It's not the stork. I'll tell you that much. You, if you, if you're not constantly sponsoring and teaching your circle members to sponsor, there's no chance of another elite leg growing. They're, they can't grow from anywhere. There's just, there's just no chance. So if you're looking at your team and you've got a big strong leg coming out and then your circle is just kind of struggling and puttering along, that's where your energy needs to be going. And then finally, um, I was talking to some other black status leaders and we we're talking about our circles. Minimum circle to be a black status presenter is 10,000. Um, and when we were talking, we were anywhere between 10,000 and the highest I heard, um, was a circle of 90,000 consistently. And that circle of 90,000, yeah, she could produce eight more greens and they could drop out of that circle and she would still be black status. She wouldn't lose her status, um, because somebody promoted. I have heard the most horrifying thing to me. I have heard of people saying, I don't want someone to promote in my success line because if they promote, I will lose my circle and I won't get paid. What? That is the worst attitude I've ever heard and so not in line with, with what we do and what we stand for. The answer to that is you grow your circle, they grow their team so they can leave your circle and you still have enough left over. So treat your circle as if nothing else exists. Treat your, you know, your, the generations that you get paid on, those are bonuses. Your circle is your business, doesn't belong to anyone else. These people, you are their upline elite. You are responsible um, for reaching out and training and nurturing and growing them as if they were your own small children that you were building up and growing and preparing to send out into the world. So that is my challenge for you. Um, map it out, see who's doing what, see who, see who buys once every three months, see who does $100 a month every month, see who does $500 a month every month. Um, reach out to every single person in your circle. I challenge you, every single person, even if they don't respond and not just through team talk, Find a way to reach them in a one-on-one -on -one way so they can actually talk to you if they need something. Make sure that they're on your team page. You know, just do everything you can, but focus on your circle and focus on your, your personal business because through your networking, your circle will grow. And yes, your sales also contribute to your circle sales, but you should not be carrying your circle. That is not a healthy business. Your PRS should not be the majority of your circle. Your PRS should not be the reason that you have a circle. Okay? Okay. Let's do this and let's watch our businesses grow. Yay! Thanks.